Oh, hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Marry My Husband episode 7, 8, and 9. And if you guys like my reading style slash reaction, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and let's get started. Someone was stuck inside one of the stalls, so I helped her out. <laughs> she was really grateful. I'm so glad I could lend her a helping hand. Sorry. I went to the restroom to wash my hands. Uh, you were saying? Marry my husband, episode 7. Huh? Hyuyun? Huh? Hello? Oh, I ran into her on my way over here. You don't mind if she joins us, do you? Um, no. Have a seat, Hyuyun. Hyuyun. So, you were saying? Uh, it wasn't anything important. Then let's dig in. Hyo <laughs> Yoon Ju, she's always so confident, even though she we joined the company on the same day as Temps. Ugh, I hate that she thinks she can do whatever she wants just because she's pretty. Well, this is a surprise. When did you and Jiyeon become friends? Oh, Miss King helped me with something. But your shirt, Miss Park, are, are you okay? It looks expensive. Oh, I'm fine. It's just a shirt. Oh. What? Just a shirt? It was a gift for me. Gosh, Huyun, you must be you must have been hungry. I've never seen a woman eat so much. Oh, my grandfather always said whether you're a man or a woman, you need to have a full stomach order to achieve great things. <laughs> really? So did your grandfather achieve great things? Why is she trying to pick a fight with Huyun? She did nothing wrong. He sells bean sprouts and tofu and marinade. Oh, and his stew seems to be pretty popular these days. <laughs> bean sprouts, stew, tofu. She's such a bright person. Oh, he must sell side dishes. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I feel like Suman tried to embarrass Huyun. I'm not sure if Hyun just has a big heart or doesn't really get what's going on. That was so good. I have uh, some work to do, so I'm gonna head upstairs first. Alright, see you later. I'm gonna go to the cafe to get something to drink. Do you want anything? Oh, then let me buy you coffee. Maybe next time I have some things to think over today. <laughs> and I'm Sionbei. I should be the one to pay. Sionbei is a term used to address senior or more experienced colleagues. Yeah, then I want a hot cappuccino! <laughs> uh. Thanks, G. I mean, Miss King. What about you, Hyun? Oh. I like an iced Americano. Let me treat you next time then. <laughs> okay, I'll meet you guys upstairs. Uh, see you, Miss King. <laughs> Hyun. That's Jiyeon's cardigan, right? When did you two become so close? i never seen you talk to her before, so I'm surprised when you guys suddenly walked into the cafeteria together. Oh, I was stuck in the restroom because I didn't have a pad on me. And then Miss King ran upstairs to get me some pads in her cardigan too. She's a total lifesaver, don't you think? What? So Hyun was the one who was stuck inside the restroom? No way! Excuse me. I hope she doesn't remember my voice. Oh, that's J1 for you. I guess you could say she's a bit nosy. <laughs> she just can't seem to leave people alone, even if they're like complete strangers. And I suggest you keep your distance from her. I've known her for four years, so I have a good sense of who she is. Ding. But you know what they say? Trust is the mother of deceit. I'm saying all this for your sake, Hyun. Thanks for your advice, Suman. But I don't think she was being nosy at all. Nosy is when you worry about what your co-worker's grandfather does for a living. Oh my gosh. Hey, 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 hey. This girl is sharp. She is sharp. If you're that interested in other people's affair, why couldn't you just tell me you didn't have a pet? Click, click. You're the one I should be careful of. Mm, yes! Uh, Juwon just got herself a tag team partner. Let's go. Are you not- are you coming or not? 
She is flushed. She is. Ho ho! That's what you get! Come. What? Did she hear me lie to Mr. Park? What if she starts a rumor? <gasps> Sumit, what are you doing by yourself? Mr. Kim? I know. Mr. Kim, I love your tie today. <laughs> I'll just get her kicked out of the company. Really? Then I guess I'll have to wear this every day. <laughs> Ooh. You really brighten up the office, Suman. There were only two girls in the team before you came along. One was a mom and the other was a thin as stick. But you're a beautiful Suman and feminine. <laughs> you're the only one who's nice to me, Mr. Kim. I have a tough few days, but you really cheered me up. Thank you. Is something wrong, Suman? D tell me everything. I'll, I'll help you. Oh, it's nothing serious. It's alright. Tell me. I just wanted to talk to someone, but I don't really feel comfortable doing it here. Uh, can you... Can you buy a drink after work today? She's so... Oh, she's such a snake, dude. One hot cappuccino and two iced Americanos, please. Oh, and one grain powder smoothie, too. I didn't see Mr. Yu at the cafeteria. He probably skipped lunch. I wonder if the smoothie will be enough. And the future has been altered once again. Minwon sold off his profitable stocks, and Suman spilled soup all over Minwon's shirt instead of mine. In other words, I'm able to steal someone else's luck. My theory had, was proven to be true, and in turn, became a rule. As someone who knows what's going to happen in the future, I have an amazing advantage in this world. I'm not going to let anyone steal my life from me anymore. As you should. <sighs> Clap. I guess no one is back yet. Mr. Yu? is sleeping again. I wonder if he was like this 10 years ago too. But, Mr. Yu, I got you a smoothie. He looks fine in the morning. Maybe he's really tired. Crap. <gasps> Did you do one? Follow me. What are you doing? Let go of me. Whoosh. Huh? He's just so handsome. Jiho, you. Uh, Mr. Yu. Mr. Park. What are you doing right now? Oh. J1. Follow me. What are you doing? Let go of me. Uh. You, you, Mr. You, Mr. Park, what are you doing right now? Marry my husband, episode eight. <laughs> Mr. Park, what are you doing right now? It's nothing. I just have something to discuss with you. What the hell? You may be on your lunch break, but remember that this is a professional setting. Please take care of any personal matters after work. Mr. Yu? I'm sure you understand what I mean. And Miss King? Thank you for the smoothie. Oh, you're welcome. Did he just help me? No way. He was probably just annoyed that his nap was interrupted. Huh? He is jealous. Meanwhile, he's over here flirting with every woman. I'll talk to you after work. So, is that the same face again? Do you have any idea how miserable I am because of you? I only married you out of pity because I felt freaking sorry for you. You want a freaking divorce? Are you seeing someone? How dare you ask for a divorce? He was abusive physically? Leave, girl. 
you want? Ms. Yang? Do you have a minute? <laughs> it's peppermint tea. It's better than coffee for calming your nerves. Thank you, Ms. Yang. You look really pale earlier. Did something happen? I guess I overworked on myself a bit. Um, it's because you're so good at your job. <laughs> but take it easy. After giving birth, I realized that health comes first. That's right. Miss Yang handed in her notice only a few months after coming back from her maternity leave. Something happened around that time. Um, how are you these days, Miss Yang? You know, just the usual. Mr. Kim won't leave me alone. He's been working me to the bone, saying he had so much to do while I was on maternity leave. But I'm hanging in there because of great workers like you, ji -won. So don't try to do, to do everything on your own. You can always come to me if there's something you're struggling with. That's what co-workers are for. I'll make you another warm cup of tea. It's good. Thank you. I had a great co-worker by my side 10 years ago. Why didn't I know that then? But what I know for sure... Miss Kang, thank you for the coffee. Is that I'm beginning to notice things in this life that I didn't before. It looks like Minwon went to have a smoke again. How's your internship going, uh, Hugin? It's going great. I have a lot of people helping me. How's your baby, Miss Yang? She's good. I took some photos the other day because it was her first birthday. Want to see? Doesn't she look just like me? Oh my gosh, she's so cute! My heart breaks every time I have to drop her off at daycare. But I have to work hard in order to support her. Oh. Isn't she adorable in this photo? <laughs> huh? It's Mr. Kim and Suman. Gosh, look at the time. I have some work to finish up. What the? What were they talking about? They were g laughing and giggling? Were they talking about me? Not everyone is out there to get you, Suman. Get over yourself. Jiwon King, how dare you have fun with other people? I won't have it. 5.50. Go work, everyone. Let's call it a day and head home. Go work today. See you tomorrow. Minwon's not going to follow me, is he? Suman. I'm meeting someone after work, so I'm gonna head out. Minwon. I'll be waiting in front of the building. Text me when you come downstairs. It's been 20 minutes. He probably went home by now. It's okay. Don't be scared, Juwan. You're not going to let him walk all over you again. If I don't want to relive the same tragic fate, I have to change. Huh? Mr. Yu? Are you getting off work now, Miss Kang? Uh, yes. What about you? I have something to take care of at the executive department. This is so awkward. Press ding! The door opened right away. What if Minwon is still waiting for me? Seeing him is the last thing I want to do right now. Miss Kang? I'm getting off work, so I could give you a ride home. If you like. Beep beep. Where do you live? Um, near Konku University, but you can just drop me off on your way. How did I end up here? Perfect. I actually have to run an errand to... I have an errand to run in your in the area. Huh? A designer brand lipstick. Click. So Mr. Yu has a girlfriend. Then again, I would be surprised if he did it. Room. Uh? What the heck? Why is he waiting for me? <gasps> Oh, did, did he see me? The windows are tinted, so people can't see into the car. I covered your face, so... Right. That was close. Thank you for the ride, Mr. Yu. I'll see you tomorrow, Miss King. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Huh. Dunk. Ring. Hey, Hyun. Are you still at work? 
Hyun is a term used by males to address older older males. Yes, what is it? Is something going on? We haven't seen each other in a while. I can't make it tonight. Take care of things for me. Hyun, click. Who's that? Cheers! Clink! <laughs> he smells like cheap air fresheners. <sighs> what am I doing with an old guy like him? Jion probably on a date with Minwon, who's handsome and wear designer clothes and... That's the stuff. Drinking with a pretty girl like you makes the alcohol taste better. <laughs> Why don't we make this a regular thing? <laughs> Should we do that? Of course. Now tell me, what's been troubling you, Sumit? Oh, I just wanted to someone to talk to. That's all. Crap. Why don't we open another bottle, Opa? Opa's term used by females to address older males. Blech. I just wanted someone to talk to, that's all. Crap. Why don't we open another bottle, Opa? Marry My Husband, Episode 9 I think both Hyun and Miss Yang don't like me. True. What? You mean even Drew and Yang? That hag? I, I don't have any power, so I can't like say, Stop it, you're gonna regret this, or anything like that. Like, don't be too sad if I end up quitting, Opa. Why do you have to be the, be the one to quit? I'll teach them a lesson. Oh. People will never notice me because they always focus on you, she on you, she on you, you. But I'm the second most powerful person in the department. Oh, thanks for saying that. <laughs> Damon just wants to get along with everyone. They're so mean. Don't worry, leave it to me. So let's just have fun and drink tonight. <laughs> Best toast to that. Cheers. Class. He's so easy to manipulate. Now all I have to do is sit back and watch. Ding. She sure tries hard to keep up her act. Zoom it. My BFF, why is your phone turned up? I'm a little sad in that we're not spending as much time together anymore. But you know, I still love you, right? Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. He's so persistent. That's a lot of missed calls. Should I just change my number? Ring. Hello? Jiwon, where are you? I'm home. What is it? What? When did you go home? I'll go meet you in front of your building then. Let's talk. Just do it over the phone. I'm tired. Why did you buy Jiyo Yu a cup of coffee? Huh? You guys don't buy each other coffee. It wasn't coffee. It was a grain powdered smoothie. And I got it for him because he bought me coffee in the morning. Why did that bastard get you coffee? Because we were the only two people in the office. If you were in this situation, would you have just gotten your coffee and ignored the other person? Then why was your phone turned off? Because you got angry at me earlier. I was feeling depressed, so I turned it off. Happy? I have to go to bed now. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Oh, Jiwon? I love you. <sighs> love? Did you and Suman mean any of the things you said to me? Ten years ago, I had good people in my life. And I wasn't able to pay attention to them. For fear of them finding out about my unhappy life. Even though I had people who cared about me. Miss Yang? I just remembered. I looked the other way when she was struggling at work around this time. Beep. I'm home. Mama! Come here, sweetie. Were you waiting for mommy? Oh, I can't. Oh, look, listen. One day, I'm going to be a mom. I hope I'm like... I hope God would give me the opportunity to be a mom. Okay, I'm not saying I know I, I could. I said, oh, I know I'm going to be a mom. But no, like, I want to be a mom. Like, come on, coming home to a baby, like, screaming, like, Mom, you're home. Okay, anyway, back up. Get back to character. 
Oh, Mama, Mama! Why are you so late? I'm starving. Oh no, don't tell me she is married to a jerk. Well, why don't you cook something instead of watching TV? I'll quickly get dinner ready, so please give Yonji a bath. A bath. So. I'm meeting someone tonight. Get something to eat and give Jionyi a bath yourself. What? You're going out again? Can you see how exhausted I am after working overtime? I'm exhausted too. I've been applying for jobs all day and looking after Yonji. Seriously? Then why does she look like this? Her hair still looks like the same from when I tied it in the morning. And you didn't even change her diaper. Oh, here we go again. Stop with the nagging. This is why I keep going out. Where are you going? Give Yonji a bath before you go. People out there, please, for the love of Buddha, pick your spouse wisely. Men and women, whoever you pick. Do not procreate with jerky people like that, okay? Even women, same way, like, you know, there's women who are just so, would just toss their kid away and go party all the time. But like, seriously, do not procreate with losers, you know? Bury people who can provide for each other and help each other out. Because if you keep on creating kids like that with a man like that, the children will grow up to suffer. Oh, with daddy issues, mommy issue, whatever, you name it. Just stop. Stop the trend of giving birth to, from, with, deadbeat parents. Anyways, back. He quit his job as soon as I got pregnant, saying he wanted to find a higher paying job. Now he won't even stay home. Ugh. He's not the only one who's having a hard time. I had to walk on eggshells around Mr. Kim at work. He won't find any faults with this proposal, right? I think it's airtight. Oops. It's okay, Yonji. Mommy's right here. Do you want mommy to tell you a bedtime story? Being a single parent is really hard, guys. The prince saved the princess, who had put, been put under a spiel from the witch. And the princess curse was lifted by the power of love. Everyone blessed the prince and princess union, and they lived happily ever after. When I was little, I thought my life would be like a fairy tale too. Uh, I'm going to sleep for a few minutes. Oh. <gasps> She's having a nosebleed. Ms. Yang, are you kidding me right now? You call this a proposal? <gasps> You're an assistant manager. For Christ's sake, how are you going to... In how are you more incompetent than a new recruit? You have lost your touch after going to a maternity leave. Am I wrong? Mr. Kim, if you could just tell me what I did wrong. <sighs> I shouldn't have to tell you that. You've been working here for years. Why can't you even write a simple business proposal? I'm sorry. I'll make some edits and... Bring you a revised version. Edits! It's gonna need more than that, than just editing. Rewrite the whole thing from scratch and have it on my desk but tomorrow morning. You hear? That jerk. He only does this whenever Mr. Yu isn't around. What's up with her? Why is she smiling? I'm sorry. I'll rewrite it. Make sure you do a good job this time. Miss Yang been working overtime for days. I wonder if she's okay. Miss Yang? Oh, oh Ji Wan. I was about to make some coffee. Do you want some? A nosebleed. It looks like she's really been pushing herself. I'll make it this time. You made me a cup of tea the other day, remember? You'll do that for me? Sounds great. Will it be okay for me to change someone else's fate? Who cares? Whatever. I already died and come back from the dead. Ms. Yang, about that proposal. I'm the only one who knows about the rule. This rule. Don't write it again. When the past is altered, listen carefully to what I'm about to say.
I had to go change my outfit because the clothes I was wearing was too tight on me. Well, it wasn't tight. It was just like it hugged me and I was just like, I don't feel comfortable. And I didn't realize this episode was over. Anyways, I really wonder what's going to happen here because obviously we know, you know, Jiwon is from the future, but she, realistically she just went back to the past and is now capable of fixing and altering her 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 life now. So now that we know that Miss Yang lives a horrible life once she is getting verbally abused by Mr. Kim, her boss, and coming home, she also has a dead be dead beat husband. Like, I wonder what is in store for her as well. Like now we've been rooting for Ji Won. We found out like she's she's about to be friends with someone who's gonna be potentially her tag team partner. And now she's helping out Miss Yang, you know? Now we have more characters in that we're rooting for. So it's getting good. All right, guys, if you guys enjoy my webtoon reading style and reaction, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!